um, just a brief statement about the selection show and us obviously being uh, selected to go to the Norman Regional. Sure. Um, biggest thing is we're in. I mean, that's what you're playing for is to go to the show. And uh, we're obviously excited. I felt like we were on the bubble and our RPI was at 40. But the push that we made at the end of the season gave us an opportunity to be considered. And I'm just unbelievably excited that we're in. Um, it's 17 years in a row that this program's gone to the NCAA tournament, and that speaks volumes for the the rich tradition and history of this program. And I'm excited that we can continue it. And then we'll open up for questions. Coach, what can you say about that push uh, at the back half of the season? What do you feel like, feel like feel like changing your girls? Do you think it was a comfortability or just uh, getting further into SEC play? Um, you know, we there was a point in their season that we were hovering and the NCAA tournament was a little bit out of reach. And it was kind of that realization on, you know, we got to push and we got to make a, a run for it um, down the stretch and we got to have a good end of the season um, and the game doesn't care. And that's really what we decided to do. And we had the motto of let's be party crashers. Let's crash everyone else's party. And we know that. Um, you know, Arkansas was making a run to be a repeat and we wanted to crash their party and and so on and so forth. And I think it would the Mississippi State was trying to make a push to make their tournament and we wanted to crash their party. So that's really been our motto is to be party crashers. And we're going to continue that same motto and momentum as we head down to Norman. Kind of on that same note, what what's the message to the team? You mentioned it's party crash and it, what's the what's the overall message? Same thing. Like, let's put crash their party. I mean, they're the number one seed. Um, they're the defending national champions. You know, no better party to crash than theirs. And uh, so we're going to have that same same momentum. Um, we know it's a tough place to play. Their fans are really, really tough and it's loud. And, you know, we just have to match their energy and excitement and enthusiasm. And uh, but really, we just have to focus on Cal first. I mean, that's that's the big step is is get as much information as we can about Cal and do everything we possibly can to to beat Cal and continue our way through that regional. But again, at the same time, like beat the one seed, like why not? Like the game doesn't care. Larissa, you mentioned it a little bit, but in retrospect, do you think that game against Mississippi State, considering they were the only team in this league that didn't get in, was was maybe a play-in game to this tournament? I, I really do. Um, I think we needed to, and this is just based on experience and, and the run that we had last year um, gave us an opportunity to host. And I know that the selection committee looks at how you do towards the end of the year. And we had a lot of quality wins. And I think what really helped us is that we didn't have any really hurtful losses. Um, our losses have been against really competitive nationally ranked teams um, that have made a big, big run and big push. Um but yeah, I think taking two out of three of Arkansas and definitely beating Mississippi State um, gave us an opportunity. Larissa, how, how different has this felt over the last week or so? Usually you're kind of just waiting to see who you're going to host for a regional. Now you're, you're trying to get in. And just, and I'm sure it's a feeling you don't want to revisit, uh, even though mm -hmm. you're happy to be in. What's What's it been like just preparing? Um, it, it's tough because you don't know and it's out of your hands. And and I think that's the the biggest struggle is – you do everything you possibly can. It's over the entire body of work. Um, you don't want a loss in February, and March to hurt you. And you just want to, you want to put together a good enough resume that you are considered. Um, when I look at our body of work and I look at our schedule and I look at who we beat, if you take Mizzou and you take the SEC out of it, to me, it's a no brainer, but I know that comes into play. And you look at the teams that, that we beat and our strength of schedule. And if we were, a mid-major or group five school, um, it wouldn't even be a question. It's a matter of, you know, it's it's the SEC and it's so tough. Um, and you're always going to have a bunch of losses because of how competitive the conference is. But it's not something that I've enjoyed. Um, you know, this day today has been really tough with practice. And, you know, are we preparing for going anywhere? Or are we preparing for the end of the season? And it's been, it's, it's refreshing that we are going, um, you know, that's what you play for. You play for an opportunity to go to the the show. Um, but again, I, I would much rather be in a different chair, um, you know, being in a top 16 seat hosting for sure. But it's, you... it's good experience. I want to say it's, it's great experience for the team. And 
a couple days ago, actually it was when we were down at the SEC tournament, um, a couple of our upperclassmen, our seniors, had said, I had no idea how two years ago being an eight seed, how important that was. And they sometimes don't understand what's at stake every single day. Um, and when you're a freshman and you're the eight seed, you don't really know how you got there. And then all of a sudden you're in a situation that you might not even host or you might not even make the tournament, um, realizing what you did to get to that point. So it's, it's a learning experience for everybody to realize the body of work and to put yourself in a position to be able to host. I was just going to ask you what, what mentality you, you've seen from your group. You know, obviously those upperclassmen have that experience. Did you find them helping along the the younger group in this, in this you know, kind of waiting game you guys had? You know, I think the the two most valuable people are Maddie Gallagher and Peyton Jackson. Um, neither one of them have gone to the NCAA tournament. And Peyton Jackson has never even watched this selection show. She's never been in a position that they were even considered. And same with Mally, Maddie Gallagher when she was at South Carolina. So their experience has trickled into the team on how important and how valuable it is being in that room and watching your name up on the board and having a shot. Coach, you mentioned a little bit about uh, Oklahoma or, and Cal. Um, when you saw Hofstra come up in that regional group, uh, a program you coached at for a number of years, what was that reaction like and what would it be like possibly playing against Hofstra in an NCAA tournament game if that comes to be? You know, I'm, as soon as, well, Oklahoma came up obviously first and then Hofstra and then a couple of the upperclassmen said, oh, we're going to Oklahoma just because Hofstra's there because um, everyone loves the storyline. And then all of a sudden you see Missouri pop up there. And, you know, sometimes the softball gods work in a very mysterious way. Um, I watched their championship yesterday. Um, Adrian Clark, who is their head coach, is a former player of mine. So obviously we have a very, very rich tradition and history together. She coached with me a number of years. Um, it's it's surreal. It's exciting um, because they have so much pride in that program and what they've done and you know, the, they're, they won a championship for the first time since 2018, which was the last year I was at Hofstra. So obviously it, it pulls on your heartstrings a little bit and I'm excited for them. And um, I know that our Hofstra family and our Mizzou family, I mean, there's a lot of Hofstra tradition in our Mizzou program. So there's, there's a rich history in that. Any other questions for coach? Otherwise, awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the time, coach. Thank you.